Hi, my name is Erin Nolan. I am a sixth grade student attending Pearson Warren Academy in Inkster, Michigan. My science fair project is float or sink. My purpose is to determine how the density mass per volume affects a can of soda in the water. My hypothesis is the regular sodas will float or the diet sodas will float or all the sodas will float. The materials you will need is a clear plastic jar containing large enough to sink a 12 ounce soda can. And here's my large container. The drinks or the sodas you will need are a Coca-Cola Classic, a Diet Coke, a Pepsi, a Diet Pepsi, and a Sunkist Orange Soda. But today I will be using a A and W root beer, a Verner's Classic, a Diet Verner's. My procedure is use her product nutrition label to record the liquid volume in millimeters and mass of each soda, sugar, and grams. So now, let's begin. As I open my clear plastic jar, we will see which soda will float or sink. Now, the first soda I will put in the water is the A&W root beer. Will this float or sink? And it sunk. We will find why did it sink. The second soda I will put in the water is a Verner's Classic. Will this float or sink? It floats. Hmm. The third can I will put in the water is a Diet Verner's. Will this float or sink? And it floats. So, let us take this A&W can and see why did this A&W sink. The reason why it sunk is because the sugar is 31 grams. Wow. Let us check the verners. The reason why it floats is because it has 26 grams of sugar. Let's check the diet verners. Hmm? It has zero, it has no grams of sugar. Wow. This root beer has the most sugar grams. You, when you drink the root beer, it has 31 grams. That is a lot of sugar. So be careful what you drink. And I am Erin Nolan, Science Fair Girl.